Partial birth abortion, the eliminating of, of abortion in the third trimester, big issue in Washington. Would President Trump ban partial birth abortion? Well, look, I'm, I'm very pro-choice. I... We are now looking at a sector scan of a real-time ultrasound imaging of a 12-week unborn child. The child is orientated in this direction. You are looking now at the head of the child here, the body of the child here, and this uh, image is the child's hand approaching its mouth. We now see the heart beating here in the child's chest. The heart is beating at a rate of approximately 140 a minute. Uh, and we can see the child moving rather serenely in the uterus one can see it shifting position from time to time it is still orientated in this manner and the mouth is receiving the thumb but the abortionist has now dilated the cervix and is now inserting this suction tip which you can see moving back and forth across the screen you will note that as the suction tip which is now over here, moves toward the child, the child will rear away from it and undergo much more violent, much more agitated movements. The child is now moving in a much more purposeful manner. Its orientation changes from time to time. It is rearing again here. Now the suction tip has not actually touched the child, even though the child is extremely agitated and moving in a violent manner. But the child has now moved back to the profile view and the suction tip is flashing once again across the screen. The child's mouth is now open and we will see that again on a freeze frame in a moment. But this suction tip which you can see moving violently back and forth on the bottom of the screen is the lethal instrument which will ultimately tear apart and destroy the child. It is only after the fluid has been broken, the sac has been disrupted, that the tip will actually come against the child. But we can see the tip moving back and forth as the abortionist seeks the child's body. Once again, we see the child's mouth wide open in a silent scream in this particular freeze frame. This is the silent scream of a child threatened and imminently with extinction. Now the heart rate has speeded up dramatically and the child's movements are violent at this point. It does sense aggression in its sanctuary. It is moving away. One can see it moving to the left side of the uterus in an attempt, a pathetic attempt, to escape the inexorable instruments which the abortionist is using to extinguish its life. Now the heart has again perceptibly speeded up. We can time this at approximately 200 beats per minute. And there is no question this child senses the most mortal danger imaginable. The membrane has now been punctured and the fluid has escaped. One no longer sees that large reservoir of fluid surrounding the child. But once the fluid has been drained off, the suction tip has now been firmly clamped to the child's body and the child is being pulled in a downward direction by the abortionist's suction tip with the negative pressure applied to it and the body is now being torn systematically from the head. The head of the child being in this direction here. I am now outlining the child's head. The lower extremities have already been lost and we see the suction tip flashing from time to time in the screen as a typhoon-like series of echoes. And the child is being tugged back and forth as the suction tip has now been applied to the body and the abortionist is exerting his traction on the child in this manner. The child's head is still discernible here. The body is no longer discernible. It has now been torn from the head. 
what we see now is the head itself with what is called the midline echo of the head and the spicules or fragments of bone. Now this head, which I'm outlining here, on this 12-week child is simply too large to be pulled in one piece out of the uterus. The abortionist is going to have to employ this instrument, the polyp forcep, in an attempt to grab the head. The abortionist will attempt to crush the head with this instrument in this manner and remove the head piecemeal from the uterus. The abortionist and the anesthesiologist have a secret language between them which shields them from the grisly reality of what is going on. The abortionist and the anesthesiologist together refer to the head of this child which is now being sought as number one. And the anesthesiologist will inquire of the abortionist is number one out yet? Are we finished? We now see intermittently the shanks or blades of this instrument appearing in the image here. The head tends to float freely in the uterus. Here are the shanks or blades of the instrument coming across here. Uh, and the head is now being locked on by this polyp forcep and the head is being pulled down uh, toward the cervix. Now all we see remaining are simply the shards, the broken fragments, the pieces of tissue which document that there was once a living, defenseless, tiny human being. Some fall.